For years, lawmakers have worked to try to bring better internet access to Kentuckians with the nation's slowest service and others without any service at all. Nearly 40% of Kentuckians lack access to adequate internet service. It's according to federal standards. In-depth reporter Christiana Ford shows us how this is impacting rural communities here and the work local officials are doing to fix it. On the edge of Clark County, life is peaceful. We really just kind of love the scenic natural vibes out here. The only issue software engineer Donald Whitbrot has is the internet. I use it for my software development, for downloading like software updates, any kind of apps or programs I need to use to develop. Anytime I would have to do something, I would have to go down to the office in downtown Winchester just to do any of my downloads and stuff that I need. Out here in his natural escape, he's relying on cell phone hotspots and more recently, a Starlink satellite. We've had to just use all these different options just to kind of get by. Um, because without those, we'd have basically nothing. And according to county data, he's far from the only one in this area with unstable or inadequate internet. They have mapped out this entire area and found that there are 9,000 businesses and people in the same position. There's a great need out there. According to research company Broadband Now, roughly one in 10 Kentucky residents are not able to purchase the slowest speed internet plan of 25 megabits per second and it's even worse in rural communities. The Federal Communications Commission says 39% of rural Americans don't have access to 25 megabits per second of service. That's compared to just 4% of urban Americans. When it comes to the fastest service, one gig, the numbers are even worse. When you talk about infrastructure, I think people think about water, sewer, blacktop and roads. Uh, but really in today's society, a lot of it's going to be broadband access and internet access. Knowing this, state lawmakers have designated over $300 million to expand broadband in rural communities across Kentucky. And so has the federal government, partnering with private companies. And some of those projects are already underway. Including this one in Clark County by Spectrum Charter Communications to bring internet access to 2,400 people and businesses in this community. We've really made it part of our mission to make sure that we're at the table and making an investment in these communities. With $58 million from the federal government's Rural Digital Opportunity Fund, Spectrum Charter Communications will bring better internet access to 300,000 Kentuckians. And they're just one internet provider with projects underway. For many rural communities, getting good internet access can only happen by using broadband services and sophisticated technologies that require high-speed connections. And that requires a lot of money. We asked Senator Ralph Alvarado, why now? You know, if you're investing in some, if you're a company and you're saying, I'm going to put down a lot of money to invest in something, is my return going to be worthwhile? And so it wasn't worthwhile because it would have to spend a lot of money. It would take them too long to recoup the funds from that. So what, what's happened now is government has said, hey, we'll help you in that investment. And so they're putting up some of their own private money, as you heard today. Government, federal and state governments putting in some as well, so it's going to make it more feasible for Spectrum to offer the service and get returns on their investment. It's like a combined pod. Combined pod. It's just government working with private companies to help local citizens. For Whitbrot, who has been trying to get service in his area for years and heard a lot of talk, he's just grateful to finally see action. It kind of brings you back into the modern age again. Knowing it truly will be life changing. It's going to benefit a lot of our folk. Uh, I know that this was a uh, particular pas passion for Judge Pace, who uh, passed away back in October. And some would argue he would be pleased to see his efforts making a difference. In Clark County, Christiana Ford, Evening Edition.